Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my empties bin here for you. Got a new bin for it and it is full of stuff. My goodness, there it all goes. Um, and thought we'd do a little change of scenery today. My office needs to be cleaned so badly. It is overflowing with makeup products and everything and I just need to spend like a day or two in there organizing and purging and there wasn't even a scrap of space left on my desk. So I figured that we might as well start with most important in skincare and work our way down. So that means that we are gonna talk about tretinoin first. And so the first thing out of the basket is my Curology and why not we'll get the sponsored portion of the video out of the way as well. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I became a Curology ambassador about two months ago after using the product for over two and a half years. So I've got two Curology bottles in the empties, which means this is a two month empties. So this is a one month supply of your most effective anti-aging skincare. When people write into me and ask me like, what's the one thing that I can use to firm up my skin? Or what's the one thing I can use to tackle my wrinkles or my age spots? Um, I always say there are two things that you need, but the main one is tretinoin. And one of the best ways to get it is with Curology. Tretinoin, which is what's contained in your Curology, is the prescription anti-aging medicine that has been proven to work and is the gold standard over like 40 years of research and being on tretinoin for the last seven and a half years two and a half with curology has really helped to firm up my skin and to erase a lot of the wrinkles that i was having and just make me look a lot younger than i did seven years ago when i started with tretinoin but the big difference when i switched to curology from just straight tretinoin was that it added the other two ingredients and the other two ingredients that helped me so much were the one percent clindamycin which took care of my hormonal acne immediately. It like stopped me from having breakouts. And I also have azelaic acid in there at 5% and that helped with the redness in my skin and helped the red spots from any pimples that I had to clear up much faster. So my skin has been clear and aging backwards and less red since I started using this two and a half years ago. So it's really like a three-in-one product because you get three active anti-aging ingredients or three active ingredients, whether they're anti-aging or anti-acne or combination, that will really help your skin. And what other product gives you like three of the best ingredients in one little tube, right? So this has really been a game changer for me and I think it can be a game changer for you because if you're using just over-the-counter retinol, that is not going to be strong enough to do like the heavy lifting anti-aging that you want to do. And the way Curology works is that it's an online prescription service so that you don't have to go to a doctor and you don't have to go to your pharmacy to get your prescription filled. It's like a one-stop shopping for the best anti-aging ingredient that you can get. If you do want to try this, you can try it first month free. I have a link in the information box below the video. You can click that link, fill out the quiz, upload your pictures, and try it. Just pay the $4.95 for shipping and handling, and then hopefully you'll love it as much as I do and continue on with it. Then what I mentioned before is that I always say that there are two things that you need to use, not just one. So tretinoin is the first one. The other thing that is really important to be used with tretinoin is sunscreen. And of course, I go through a ton of sunscreen. So I have two of my Holy Grail sunscreens in the basket here. The first one is my Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. This is my Holy Grail Everyday Face Sunscreen. It's an all mineral sunscreen. This is a hydrating sunscreen that contains hyaluronic acid and glycerin. It also contains some antioxidants. It is fantastic underneath makeup. It doesn't make your makeup wear off faster. It doesn't make it settle into any wrinkles. The tint on this is really nice and it doesn't look like makeup when you have it on, but it does help to even out your skin tone a little bit. And so, you know, in these days of wearing less and less makeup, uh, sometimes I'll just wear this alone 
actually quite often. I'll just put this on and I'll think my skin looks so good. And then the one that I mix with it, the Paula's Choice, this is the Super Light SPF 30. It's also a hydrating base. So if you have dry skin, these are gonna definitely be the better sunscreens for you. And I love both of those. Another sunscreen that I went through is one that I reviewed in my 2019 sunscreen wrap up. This is the Epiance Daily Shield Lotion Tinted SPF 50. I didn't love this one for my face and the tint is a little bit darker than the Elta MD. It almost had an emollient feel to it. It was so hydrating. I know it wasn't the winner of the year that I tested it, but it was like up there as a pretty good one. So, you know, I didn't just want to waste it and like leave it laying around. I wanted to use it up. So it took me a year to do it, but I did use that one up using it just on my chest and the backs of my hands. I used up one of my tried and true CeraVe PM lotions. I used this actually in the AM. And everyone always asks why I don't use the AM lotion instead of the PM, and that's because the AM has sunscreen in it, and the sunscreen is not all mineral. You know, if you wanna cut out a step and use the AM version, that's fine. It is an SPF 30, and I do like a higher SPF, but the CeraVe PM lotion has all really great ingredients. It's got glycerin, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and it has ceramides in it, which are awesome for your skin. It's just super hydrating and really nice. I have repurchased. The new one is in the cabinet and ready to go. So that's always a fave. And then what else? Oh, my timeless. I feel like I just talked about this in my faves and fails, which was last Friday, I think. So anyway, if you just heard me raving about this last Friday, you can go ahead and skip ahead a minute or two. But this is my timeless 20% vitamin C plus E plus brulic acid serum. This is in my book, the best vitamin C serum because there's only one version of vitamin C that really has the science behind it showing that it works in your skin. So L ascorbic acid, which is what this one has, is the gold standard of vitamin Cs and it's an antioxidant. What it does is it goes around your skin kind of protecting your DNA, protecting your collagen, protecting your elastin, and those are things that you really want in an anti-aging skincare routine. This one is the best one because not only is it formulated correctly, which they must be, but I also love the Timeless because it's the only one that comes in a pump dispenser where it's not exposed to light and it's not exposed to air. We'll keep the product fresher longer. And I do have a discount code for Timeless products, all their serums. It's HF5OFF for $5 off your order. It's good anytime, all year round. So take advantage of that if you want to try some Timeless serums. So another serum that I used up is something that I was just trying. It is the Revolution Skin Care 5% Lactic Acid plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is um, kind of a dupe for my ordinary 5% lactic acid serum. The reason I say it's kind of a dupe is because they're at exactly the same price point. So, you know, it's not like you can really beat the ordinary on price. I didn't really notice any difference between this one and the ordinary one. When I replaced this, I went up to the 10% on the ordinary. So I'm using the 10% lactic acid, not the five currently, and that's going well too. All right, here's something from my evening skincare routine. It's the Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer with Chia and Flaxseed. And this one was set in PR and the new one I have was also set in PR. So anyway, I haven't repurchased, but that's why I am still using and it is still in my evening skincare routine in the same place. You know, it's really the ceramides that I go for in here and it does have a lot of great ingredients. This is a nice feeling cream. I finished up the Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Night Cream. Uh, I was trying this because they released this and you know, everyone's always curious about the Olay products. I do use the Olay Regenerist Night Cream as my last step in my skincare routine. And I had swapped this in for a little while, but as I said before, retinol is really like a distant cousin of tretinoin and tretinoin is really what you need if you're this age. I mean, if you're a younger person watching, retinol is really good to have in your skincare routine as like a starter and as like a get your skin ready for tretinoin, which you should probably start. I don't, I don't wanna give numbers of when you should start tretinoin, but I feel like the people whose skin still looks really great in their 60s are the people who've been using it for 20 years. So I would say maybe by the time you're 40, start thinking about using prescription tretinoin. But before that, retinol 
is really good to use. I enjoyed using this one, but because I do use tretinoin, I can't say that it like did that much for my skin because I was already using something that was like 10 times stronger, but it's a good product and I liked it. Um, didn't repurchase though. Let's do face washes next. I finished off both of my favorite face washes. This one, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion for Sensitive Skin Fragrance Free is my morning and evening face wash for after my double cleanse. Love this. I did purchase more. I was actually in a panic for a minute there because you know how during the pandemic, some things, they're just having trouble keeping them on the shelves, you know, like when you go to look for toilet paper and there's none. Anyway, for like a month, there was no Neutrogena on the shelves at my Target. My Ulta wasn't open. I couldn't find this anywhere. When I was looking online, I couldn't find the Sensitive Skin Fragrance Free one. And then finally, just before this one ended, <laughs> I found some. I can't remember where. I want to say it was on Ulta and uh, I got three bottles shipped in. So that's how much I love it. But yes, I do have this, have repurchased and that is great stuff. And then the other one is the first cleanse of my evening double cleanse. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I love this guy. It's like an oily balm. You rub it into dry skin. You rub it into the base of your lashes. lashes. It removes your waterproof mascara and your waterproof eyeliner and all your makeup in the first step. And I love that about it. And you know, it leaves your skin really hydrated feeling because it is an oil. Then I do wash it off with the Neutrogena just because it does kind of leave a little bit of an oil slick across my eyes and I like to get that off. I can link my entire skincare routine up here uh, so that you can see how I use all these products that I just talked about. My Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the berry flavor that you can get at Sephora. I actually don't like this flavor as much as I like the grapefruit. And, but they don't sell the grapefruit on Sephora for some reason. So I bought the grapefruit one off of Amazon. That's what I've replaced this with. It's what I butter my lips up with at night before I go to bed. And it just is the one thing that keeps my lips so hydrated all night long. The last thing in skincare is my New Face Gel Primer. I go through this big bottle of this in about six months. It takes me to finish off one of these. This is a 10 ounce bottle. I do my New Face routine about three times a week. And I love this the best because it's so lightweight and it's not really hard to remove. I do wash this off even though you can leave it on and it's marketed as a leave-in, like a leave-on thing that you would rub into your skin. For body skincare, I used up one of my favorite sunscreens. Unfortunately, I think this one has been discontinued by Banana Boat. This is their Sun Comfort SPF 50. And uh, this is really great. I love this one the most, but they have another one that I did bring up here to show you, which is the Dry Balance. It is the best body sunscreen because it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. They keep your skin feeling nice and hydrated, but they give it such a nice moisturized look. It's got like a matte finish, so you're not super glowy. It doesn't have any glitter in it, but it's not like a flat matte. It's a really nice looking matte that reflects light really well. Of course, I have it on today. When I get dressed in the morning, I just put on my sunscreen. And I'm like, okay, wearing a sleeveless tank sweater today, then I sunscreen my entire arm, so I am set. Then depending on how much time I spend outside, I'll either reapply or not, you know? You have to reapply for every two hours of sun exposure. And then another body thing is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Gel Lotion. This is the fragrance-free version. I used this up. I think I received this in PR from Neutrogena last year. I really like this, but I haven't repurchased it. I think this is a really good lotion to use in the summer because it's so lightweight like this would be great for putting on before you put on like a fake tan because it's not heavy and it's not occlusive and it's not going to keep your um, faux tanner from absorbing into your skin. I have an Olay lotion in there that I'm using currently and that's also a lightweight lotion so between the two for me they're kind of interchangeable. When I run out of that one I may go back to this one because it is fragrance free. That one does have fragrance which I don't love but anyway that's that. Another body lotion that I used up is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I love this for the winter skin. This is so thick and so emollient and so like it's not really super greasy, but pretty greasy that this is the best like winter 
moisturizer for the body. Your skin will never be like dry and itchy and gross looking. Um, I did replace this. I did purchase it. What I made sure to do was purchase the one that has the pump because having to open this up and you know dip your fingers in to get a big gluer out, I wasn't a big fan of. This one contains glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. It does not contain niacinamide. I know a lot of people who have dry skin are using this for their face, which is great. You can use it for your face. It's very cost effective and economical for that. But what you need to know that the difference between this and like the PM is that this contains niacinamide and a lot of it. So niacinamide is the fourth ingredient on here, which means it's, you know, pretty good concentration of it in there. And this doesn't have any. So for the face, I would definitely go with the PM just because of the niacinamide. The last thing for the body is my Olay body wash. This is the body wash that I've been using for a couple of years now. And I like this. This is the Ultra Moisture Plus with Shea Butter. Although I didn't repurchase this and I'm not really using this anymore because there's a new product on the market that I'm so psyched about that I'm using instead of this. And that is the Earth RX Bod Pods. And the reason I'm so psyched about these is because they were invented by my father and I'm so proud of him and his new company for coming up with something that was planet friendly. So I've been using these. I know if you guys have watched, I've done, this is the third video that I'm mentioning them in in about uh, two weeks. And so you may get sick of hearing me talk about the Bod Pods. This will be it for a little bit. But um, anyway, it has been two years of hard work developing this product because it's not easy to um, come up with a portion control little pod that dissolves in water and is completely biodegradable so that you don't need this giant big plastic tub that's probably going to end up in the landfill even though I do put it in my recycle bin. So this little pod dissolves in water and then inside here is the body wash and this is an all plant-based detergent so they're very mild, very gentle, very hydrating to the skin. So where this is full of you know heavy duty moisturizers like petrolatum and shea butter. It's like that because the detergents in here are pretty harsh and so you need to offset them with some pretty heavy moisturizers. Well, with this one, you don't really need to add all that super duper moisturizing stuff because the detergents don't strip your skin. And also the packaging is also compostable and biodegradable. These are plant-based inks. I do have a 10% off discount code at EarthRx. A lot of people tried them because of my previous video on them and have given us such great feedback. People absolutely love them. So thank you guys so much for trying it. If you want to try it and you haven't yet, go ahead and hit up the link in the information box below the video. Everything else in here is supplements and hair color. So I colored my hair again the other day. As always, I use my e-salon hair color to do my brown roots. I love this service. It is so good. It is custom professional quality color. So, you know, with the gray hairs coming in, I find that most of the box kits that I've tried from like the drugstore, they cover to start, but then it fades over the next couple of weeks as I wash my hair. And I really don't like the fading. I want my gray coverage to be solid and I want those puppies to stay covered because I am not ready to join the Silver Sisters Club. I suppose I will be someday. And it looks like a lovely club to be in, but I'm just not ready yet. So it comes with everything you need. It comes with the gloves and some stain remover in case you get any color on yourself. It's really quick and easy to use and I love it. If you haven't tried eSalon yet, first time customers can try it for only $15. There's a link in the info box below the video for that. And then I also do my highlights at home. So I recolored my roots just about four days ago, but I didn't redo my highlights, but this is in the here from the previous time that I did my highlights. Does that make any sense? So I did a video on that one. So I'll link the video right up here if you want to see me doing my whole hair color thing. But this is the highlight kit that I use. It's L'Oreal Frost and Design in the shade H85 Champagne. And it's a cap kit and I don't use the cap. I really just paint the highlights on like little tiny pieces of hair. I have repurchased this. It's on my bathroom counter because I really need to touch up my highlights 
uh, like today or tomorrow. So I will be using that again and I'm really happy with that. And I think it's a great little highlighting kit. And now on to the supplement. So the biggest one in here is the Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. This is a collagen peptide and it's a fish collagen. And this is the one that I've been taking for, I'm gonna say about six months now. I actually finished this one about two months ago. It's been sitting in my empties for a long, long time gathering dust. And I decided not to repurchase this because I was like, I'm not sure if it's really doing anything for me. I can't really tell. Well, over the last two months, my knees have started to hurt when I work out and I'm like, what is going on? I used to have really bad knee pain when I was working out before I started taking other supplements for my knees like glucosamine and chondroitin. I couldn't really think of what I what was different that my knees would suddenly start hurting except that I had stopped using this. And so even though I wasn't gonna repurchase this, I just bought it again like literally three days ago <laughs> and started taking it. I will report back on if my knees stop hurting. So far they feel the same because I've taken it a whole twice. I don't even know, but. So I bought it, I'm taking it again. So I will report back if my knees stop hurting, then in my mind it will be because of that. So I will keep you posted. But I mean like that's not why I'm taking it, right? I'm not taking it for my knees, I'm taking it for my skin. Did I notice a difference in my skin over the two months since I've stopped using it? Not really, I can't say I have, so you know, there's that. If you're taking it just for skin, I don't know. I'm not sure it's worth the expense. All right, I finished up a new resveratrol supplement. This was actually given to me by a friend of mine, and I'm not sure if she's selling it, but I have to call her or text her today and find out because if she is, I would like to be able to link her if I can for sales on this because she gave me this and I really like this. And it's not that I noticed a difference in any way taking this. I didn't feel any different. I didn't feel like I looked any different. But when this was empty, I wanted to repurchase this. And when I first looked at it and saw the price, I was like, oh my goodness, that's a lot more expensive than the stuff I was taking. So then I was like, well, let me see why it's more expensive. And this has um, 250 milligrams of active trans resveratrol. And basically my other one, what it didn't have any trans resveratrol in it. And apparently trans resveratrol is what you need to see on the label because that is the active ingredient that's actually gonna do something inside your body or be able to be used. And the one I had didn't really have any trans resveratrol. All it had was like grape stems and you know grape skins and grape leaves and ground up grape stuff. And I don't think it was really doing me any good. I think it's probably worth it and I do like it better. This is, as I was saying, my knee joints, my glucosamine chondroitin supplement. I take the Move Free Advanced and uh, this, I do get at Costco, and uh, this, I was surprised that my knees were hurting because I haven't stopped taking this, so this has been like continuous. So it's definitely something else because this really helped my knees in the beginning. Um, but I mean, maybe it's just that I'm getting older. It's funny, like every time you come up to kind of a bigger birthday, your body lets you know that you're there somehow. Like I'm gonna be 58 in a couple of months, and <laughs> I feel like, Every time it's like two months before a birthday, you know, something starts to hurt or something starts to be blurry or something starts to, you know, you start losing words or everyone who says that age is just a number, <laughs> age is way more than a number. But um, I do like taking supplements because I feel like they give me so much energy and they do keep all the things that my body is trying to like be like, hey, you're old it keeps them from feeling quite so old. And so this definitely keeps my knees and my joints from feeling quite as old as they are. Not that 58 is ancient. It's not, but it's getting up there. Last supplement and last thing in the bin is my phytoceramides. I take these Sports Research Lipo Wheat Phytoceramides. If you are gluten-free, you can't take these because they have wheat in them. There are rice-based phytoceramides that you can get. I take the phytoceramides just from September until March, and this is supposed to hydrate your skin from the inside out, and I really feel like it works. I know this is the wrong time of year to be telling you about it because I'm not taking it currently, and I won't start up till September, but I did just buy my six month supply of it, so they're in the cabinet ready to go in September when I start taking them, but I have noticed a huge difference in my skin with feeling less dry and feeling less itchy when I take this. So anyway, have repurchased that. 
our empties bin is now empty and ready to start a new month or a new couple of months of collecting empties. So that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell, even though I know some of you are not being notified of my videos, YouTube, what's going on with that. Please do it anyway, because that does help my channel, helps them to know that you want to know when I've released a new video. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.